Hey guys, so in today's video, I promised I would be making a very special video and here it is. So if you haven't seen my announcements video yesterday, I'll link it down in the description so you can understand the context of this special video. So right now, we're going to talk about video games. So I'm not necessarily talking about one specific video game or two, but rather I'm talking about gaming in general. I mean, who doesn't love the video game industry it's satisfying it's great and honestly it's one of those in uh, it's one of those uh, really good pastimes to just relax but wanna know what's better what if you can make money while playing games that sounds great and in today's video I'll be showing you five ways how to do exactly that so before the video starts, I would just like to say if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do for more content and I hope you guys will enjoy and of course learn a lot. And yeah, let's get into the uh, let's get into the video. Okay, so our first way to earn money from playing video games or just gaming is to stream on Twitch. Okay. So what is Twitch? Made back in September 2006, Twitch was designed as a streaming platform for people to share and broadcast their content live. Now you might ask, why stream on Twitch and not Facebook Gaming or YouTube? Well, for one, Twitch is the largest streaming platform in the world with an average of over 140 million users at this day and age. By streaming there, you are able to cater to millions of people, more than the two other platforms. So joining and starting is very very simple. Search up twitch.tv on Google and make an account. Personalize it according to your preferences. Set up your computer with a screen capture software. I recommend using OBS because it's free, flexible, and basically it's a great software for just recording yourself and streaming. And boom, you're done. You can start. But I'm going to go back to the question that everyone wants to know. How do we earn money by streaming on this platform? Well, there are numerous ways you can earn revenue. Namely, these are money from ads, affiliate marketing, merchandise, donations, and sponsorships. So ads, uh, we all know what ads are, advertisements. You know, when there are unskippable ads on your favorite YouTube content creators, those are ads. And Twitch can put that in your stream so that, uh, and you can gain uh, money from that. Next is affiliate marketing. So. You know those uh, YouTubers in my niche, so let's say CSGO, so sometimes, Anomaly if you don't know him, sometimes he has these, uh, click on this link or something and he's gonna say, oh I'm sponsored by this, 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 and use my code, blah blah blah. Well, that's affiliate marketing. So, affiliate mar marketing is when you uh, sp uh, sponsor a another uh, an external company company preferably in your niche and basically they'll give you commission uh, and that commission depends on how many people will click on that link and buy that product you are selling to them so yeah so next is merchandise merchandise is pretty straightforward merchandise is you know those caps hoodies it can be anything and donations. Now donations, this is also straightforward. I don't really need to explain this. And the last one is through sponsorships. So through sponsorships, let's say uh, HyperX. So let's say you're famous and you get HyperX to sponsor you. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're going to wear their gear and you're going to put it down in your stream for your equipment and basically you're just going to show them uh, what this is what what headset you're using and yeah you get not only do you get free gear but also you get paid for that however there's a catch in order to actually earn money effectively with these ways you need to become a twitch affiliate which is the level before becoming a twitch partner which i will talk about later what is a twitch affiliate you may ask it's a status granted to qualified streamers with a steady audience. If you become a Twitch affiliate, subscriptions and ads can and will be enabled with Twitch taking 50% of the money that your viewers pay you when they subscribe to you. Subscriptions are simply divided into three prices or tiers. US this is in US dollars by the way. $4.99, $9.99, and $24.99. 
obviously with 24.99 having the most benefits for the subscriber. As for ads, you can decide how many to put in your stream and Twitch will automatically put these in for you. It doesn't stop there as affiliates can also earn through bits. So think of bits as like a mini donation system along with your main donation wherein people just uh, send money through your PayPal. Uh, basically your viewers can buy these bits for real money to support your stream and when they use it in chat, you will get a cent for each bit sent to you. So yeah, that, that sounds really good, right? But what exactly do you need to become a Twitch affiliate? Take a look at this picture. You need at least 500 total minutes broadcast in the last 30 days, an average of 3 simultaneous viewers or more over the last 30 days, at least 50 followers, and at least 7 broadcast days in the last 30 days. That doesn't sound like a lot, but believe me, it's really 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 hard. More on that later. Now it's time to talk about the Twitch partner. As I said, this is the next level from an affiliate. Out of 2 million streamers on the platform, it is estimated that around 22,000 have been given this title and for good reason. A Twitch partner is the highest level of streaming and is very similar to an affiliate but here you have more benefits. Here I'll show the differences in this table. You can pause the video if you like. Becoming a partner requires having streamed 25 hours within 30 days, having 12 unique days for streaming within 30 days, and have at, having at least 75 viewers within 30 days. Affiliates and partners get more recognition from big companies which is in your niche or the games that you stream, so affiliate marketing and sponsorships will be more likely to happen when you've reached that status. This also applies to merch as once you have a steady following, uh, a handful of people will buy your merchandise. So I suggest you don't make until you actually, you're actually sure that you have a steady following and that people will uh, tend to buy your merch. So I'm going to be honest here, this isn't easy, especially when you've just started out. But to end this section, I'll give around 3 tips on how to become a good streamer and to get to that affiliate or partner status as soon as possible. So one is to collaborate with other streamers. So collaborating with other streamers is I think one of the most important tips because not only does collaborating involve you in the other streamer's video but it also allows the other your uh, the one you're collaborating with their audience to say oh this guy is cool let's check him out so potentially you might have more followers with if you have a collaboration with one streamer and number two bring out what is unique in you so what's common with the top streamers right now is that they have something unique in them and i think that to get to something uh to get to a really high level in twitch you need to have uh uh something that's unique something that's different and something that only you have so maybe it might be your humor your gaming skill it can be really anything but i suggest you work on what what's unique what's what's very very unique in you and third is to stream consistently and regularly so Streaming consistently is probably one of the best ways to get to that status, to the affiliate or partner status because this will allow Twitch to realize that, oh, you're streaming, you're streaming regularly. And so, and as you can see from the, um, as you can see from the requirements to become an affiliate and a partner, you need to have... Uh, broadcast days, unique days, and all of that. So streaming consistently and regularly will not only uh, enable you to fulfill the requirements, but also allow your audience to stay in touch with you. So yeah, uh, that's a really long one for number one, but we've got four more. So here's the next one. So our second way to earn money while playing video games is through journalism. When I say journalism, I mean freelance writing. So you know companies like IGN, they're the ones responsible for game reviews, game critics, you know, all of that, all of that stuff related to gaming. Now, I'm not saying you should aim for a company that big, but what I'm saying is go look for smaller companies which need some writers that have gaming experience. So let's say you play a lot of um, Far Cry. So what if they need a Far Cry uh, a Far Cry review. So you, having the experience, you can 
basically just go in uh, apply and write write to them write with them write for them on a, a freelance basis so every article you make every article you write they'll pay you for that or alternatively you can actually start your own although this is gonna take really long but you can basically start your own gaming blog like a website or something like that and you can promote it on social media you can apply marketing techniques and stuff like that but yeah another good insight to look into if you're good in writing and you want to incorporate that writing with your video games is through freelance writing and journalism and you can do that by either setting one up for yourself or joining smaller companies but if you strike it big with IGN why not our third way of earning money through playing video games and gaming is through Swagbox. I'm not sure if you've heard of this before, but Swagbox is an application that's completely free and completely real. It's 100% real. And basically, this operates through a point system. So what you do is you play games, you reach this amount, or maybe you complete surveys. But again, we're talking about games here, so I'll just use gaming. So let's say you play uh, Blackjack or some games like that. And you earn a certain amount of points and these points can actually be redeemed in uh, when you reach a certain amount so let's let's say 100 points it's an Amazon gift card or actual cash and this cash will be sent through your PayPal account so so you can definitely trust the program it's free many people have used it and you can basically just redeem, you can play a lot and redeem your stuff from there. Our fourth way of earning money from playing video games and gaming is to make guides. So when I say guides, you know that feeling when you're just a new player and you search on YouTube, oh I want to be better at this game. So like, let's say you play PUBG, how to be better at PUBG and you see a lot of tutorials there, you see a lot of uh, YouTubers giving advice. And that's what exactly what I want you to do. I mean, it's it's one of these options wherein it's completely flexible and you can post videos at any time, just make it really consistent. And just like Twitch, you can get money here through ad revenues, affiliate marketing, all of that. Except the platform you're going to actually use is YouTube. And if you don't prefer streaming, then that's completely fine because you can just make guides, tutorials, even gameplay videos. You know, even like a mix of those. You can just make gameplay videos while teaching people what you're doing or maybe 10 tips while you're in this situation and you show them specific situations. It's up. It's all really all up to you. So I suggest making your own channel and finding a game that you're really, really good at. So if you're good at PUBG, you might want to start recording your gameplay, start recording your voice, and then, uh, you know, make your video available and friendly for everyone and easy to understand so that they can easily grasp what you're saying to them. And uh, in case you haven't, in case you didn't know, in order to be monetized on YouTube, you need to have 4,000 watch hours in a year and 1,000 subscribers. So... Again, consistent uploads, you know, become unique. It really just, it, it, the same applies to YouTube as applies to Twitch. You just have to make yourself very, very consistent. And along with a very unique personality, you are definitely going to start getting monetized and you are going to earn money on YouTube just making guides. Okay, so... This is the last one, guys. Just hang on. And this is through Patreon. Now, I also love to play the guitar. And when I search on YouTube, my favorite guitarist on YouTube, uh, he usually has, like, let's say he posts a video which contains a tutorial. And he says, okay, so if you want more content, go to my Patreon and subscribe there. So that's exactly what Patreon is. It's a, a, it's a platform that allows creators to provide exclusive content for, their, for the people who've subscribed to them. So basically, you can earn more money from Patreon aside from, I guess, YouTube and Twitch 
by putting exclusive content, just make sure that your viewers uh, feel... Just make sure that your subscribers or the ones who subscribe to you on Patreon feel that they spent it on something worth it because it can have a negative impact as well if you're just gonna advertise your Patreon channel and you don't really put much. So yeah, Patreon is a great investment but make sure that Again, you've put a lot of time into it and you've put truly unique content, not just, you know, regular stuff and basically you've just kind of scammed people off your money. But yeah. So that does it for this video, guys. It's really a special one because it's one of the most long, I think it's the most lengthy video I've ever made. More than my tutorials and all that stuff. And it's really different. So, yeah. I mean, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, engage, and of course, comment on what uh, what, what more would you want to see from me. And yeah, I guess that does it for today's video. I'll see you in around two days for the next upload. And we are back with the CSGO tutorials. Peace.